Hello students, welcome back and today we are going to learn about form 5, chapter 5 about carbon compounds. So we are actually at page 155 about uses of alcohol in daily life. And again, if you do not have this ebook, you can check out my uh, YouTube. I, there's, a web, there's a video that I sent a link and you can download this book. So, what is the function of alcohol? Very fast. Um, alcohol can be used as a fuel since it's a flammable. So, for example, in Philippines, it becomes a fuel for the motorist. It can be used for med medicine because it can disinfect. Correct or not? When you go to supermarket due to COVID-19, you can buy a sanitizer. And some of the sanitizer is actually using alcohol. Cosmetic, hmm, this one maybe I can ask some girl to explain to me how to use alcohol and cosmetic. As a solvent to such as perfume, lotion, and lipstick, okay, to make the soul, to make perfume, uh -huh. perfume, or as a solvent for various cosmetics such as perfume, lotion, and lipstick. Industrial alcohol is used as a solvent. As a solvent. Solvent means what? Solvent means it's a liquid that can dissolve other substance. Means it can um wash it lah. For example, let's see, is it um I don't know, there's uh, some solvent maybe to clear the cosmetic, is it? I'm not sure. Maybe you can I don't know whether you want to use alcohol to clear the Cosmetic. You don't use water, right? Because when you use water to rub, it just don't go off. So maybe you want to use alcohol because alcohol is a good solvent. And uh, for example, the whiteboard. For example, there's a whiteboard in your classroom. Then your teacher accidentally used marker pen. So maybe you can consider to use alcohol to wipe the, the whiteboard. And sometimes after you wipe, it becomes spoiled, the whiteboard, because there is one person that is using soap okay when you use soap or other detergent actually it spoil the whiteboard so after a while you cannot erase it because you use soap ma. the soap um wipe the how to say uh, the wax away then spoil the whiteboard becomes spoiled. you need you can use alcohol um, how i know this because i got a whiteboard and i order at shopee to buy the alcohol to wipe the whiteboard because some people spoil my whiteboard. After I wipe, also it is still spoiled. But better a bit lah, better a bit. Aye. Effect or excessive. So alcohol, of course, in Malaysia for the Islam, they cannot drink alcohol. Uh, alcohol also can cause addiction, like like drugs lah. Huh? You can drink alcohol. So I don't know how it feel uh, because. I, I seldom drunk. I feel I don't really enjoy it lah, huh? because after you drink you feel headache and I don't know how you want to enjoy um alcohol while feeling drunk. Um it's not a way to enjoy life. Lah, huh? Because I got an uncle that actually drink alcohol. He like to drink wine, red wine, black wine. Actually my family all most most of them drink wine and uh, my uncle lah, they always drink wine. He say the one that is drunk is the person that do not know how to drink wine. Because if you are drunk when you drink it, you also don't know anything because you are drunk. Right? So you are not actually enjoying the taste of the wine if you are drunk. Um, uh, um, it's very dangerous of alcohol because it's, if we call it as a fetal alcohol syndrome, baby born with a small size brain and stunt growth. So Especially for pregnant women, they cannot um, drink alcohol because it will cause the brain size to be small in the head. So when the baby size brain is small as uh, the, the children grow up, so the children also become bodo. Bodo until grow up. So this actually is a permanent effect for the baby and it's really not good. Uh, not only for alcohol, there are many food that a pregnant woman should avoid, like the teratogen or the bad thing, cigarette. Uh, a pregnant woman need to be very careful. If not, 
the food that eat um, not not enough nutrient or usually pregnant women if they just eat sugar like or oh, there's a correlation you know i just study if a pregnant woman always eat fast food uh not nutritious food there's there's a correlation that the the as the child grow up the children is more border no i don't to say the word border like. i mean the iq is a bit low as compared to the parent that eat good food their son and children which is more clever so we need to be careful about the food we eat especially during the toddlers and the children time so adverse effect if you drink too much it's called alcohol toxification you also can die okay you can die because of drinking of too much alcohol due to the um, liver failure the liver will fail and we can see people die die due to alcohol also i still remember got one person drink the it's not alcohol you know they are drinking like the minyak tana i don't know uh, because the minyak tana is like 90 percent 80 percent alcohol right rather than you go to supermarket it's 40 percent but the minyak so they drink it then what well, they say very nice then one day they die of course of course you don't drink the minyak tana who want to drink the minyak tana okay i don't know it's minyak tana or what but i know it's some some minyak lah. okay uh the brain so drinking alcohol will damage the brain and disrupt the coordination correct or not then people cannot balance if you cannot balance yourself how you want to balance in driving so you cannot even drive if you drive then you will got accident Can someone never mind but you will really face accident huh i have a blur vision lung increased rate and breathing increase of heartbeat high blood pressure irritational in the stomach kidney failure liver cancer or oh, kidney failure is here and the uh, frequent urination um if I'm not mistaken, uh, they are talking about excessive alcohol, means extra. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, if you drink a bit, it's good for your health, for health purpose. But you can see here again, I want to emphasize they are talking about excessive alcohol. But in a small volume, it's actually food. Means everything also need to be balanced. Uh, in terms of alcohol, I think also need to be um, balance lah, so that we can be healthy uh, we need to drink a bit of alcohol a bit of coffee to maintain our good health coffee also got caffeine which can cause addiction which is not good but drink a bit is good everything also eat a bit like correct or not eat a bit here and that is good um what is this uh, produce a poster Okay, don't worry, I'm not going to ask you uh, to do a poster because this is a YouTube video. Nobody is going to do it. What is alcohol? Hmm. Formative practice 5.3. So we can see the answer is at page 160. Is it? Oh, sorry, 150. Um, alcohol is an organic compound which contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen element. Okay, so this will be the answer. So at page 150, okay. Okay, so how to prepare alcohol? Of course, it's uh, through a process called fermentation. Fermentation, still remember or not? Fermentation. Let's see the process of fermentation. Um, alcohol, if you want to do, uh, you, you do this process, okay? This process is called fermentation. You can do it at home or you can go at YouTube lah. YouTube will teach you how to do alcohol. Now YouTube can teach you to do a lot of things, right? Okay. What is the purpose of... I'm just thinking uh, whether YouTube can teach you to do bomb or not. Later, I, I try to find. Because I heard that they say if you try to type how to make bomb, the US people will be able to track your IP address and track who are you. So maybe every day you just go Google how to make bomb, how to make bomb, how to make bomb. So maybe the FBI will appear in front of your house one day. Okay, what is the purpose of distillation in the process of alcohol? Through pro glucose fermentation. Hey, sorry, but let me read again. What is the purpose of distillation in the process of alcohol 
in the process of alcohol preparation through glucose fermentation. So what's the purpose of fermentation? I think to separate uh, to separate the mixture between to separate the mixture to separate um, alcohol uh, alcohol from the mixture okay the mixture means got the water uh, to separate the alcohol from the liquid uh, from the mixture uh, okay. state two uses of alcohol uh, of course to use as a fuel to um, you, you don't just write that uh, okay as a fuel for for motorists for example medicine to disinfect microorganism so don't just write few medicine explain a bit as a few for vehicle number one number two uh, for medical purpose because it can be used to kill microorganism of course for girl will write comments is it ah oh, you are stereotyping again my son always say i'm stereotyping where got stereotype in true ma cosmetic is for girl ma when you guy use comestic one, correct or not? If your guy friend use comestic, you you want to beat him up, right? I don't know lah, but if I'm student, maybe I need to beat him up. Um, <laughs> don't I'm, okay, I'm not stereotyping. State two use of alcohol daily. Why why is drunk driving causes by excessive in the alcohol is a serious traffic offense? So I think this one is a K mark question, is it? Um, it's a serious offense because. What do you think? I think it's a serious offense because it can um, lead to accident, okay? It can lead to accident and this may result uh, result death. Okay, so this is very dangerous. It's a serious offense, okay? Your license can be tarred by it. In fact, I got one day I drive to home around 2 p.m. It's in front of me, you know, the car, and then it suddenly just sway and bang on the ramp. Until now, I still can remember what are you doing? It's just a straight road with no car, you know, it's a highway. And he just from the straight road, it boom, and then I'm like, <gasps> until now, I still can remember. I think the guy is drunk. Luckily, no, no people stand there. If people stand there, I think the person will die. So, um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy very much. So, the next topic I will talk about fat. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you next time. Thank you and bye bye.